Hey guys, I'm Avesh. This is part two of the MERN stack tutorial. In the previous session, we discussed about the advantages of the MERN stack and we glanced at few popular companies that has built applications using MERN stack. In this session, we will understand the prerequisites of MERN stack development and we shall proceed with MongoDB prerequisites and will create a MongoDB cluster. Before diving into MongoDB, it would be great if you all cover the below prerequisites. Point number one, understanding of databases. Having a basic understanding of databases, including concepts like tables, documents, indexes and querying will be very helpful. Point number two, basic command line knowledge. While it's not mandatory, but having the familiarity with the command line interface can be useful for interacting with MongoDB, especially for administrative tasks. Point number three, programming skills. MongoDB offers drivers for various programming languages like Python, JavaScript, etc. However, depending on your use case and proficiency in one of these languages will be beneficial for integrating MongoDB into your applications. Going forward, we'll be using JavaScript as the programming language to connect with MongoDB since we are using MERN stack. Let's now take a quick glance about MongoDB. MongoDB is a popular NoSQL database program that uses a document oriented model, which means instead of storing data in tables and rows as relational databases do, MongoDB stores data in JSON-like documents. Key features of MongoDB include document orientation, where data is stored in flexible JSON-like documents, scalability, high performance, querying. MongoDB supports rich query capabilities, including ad hoc queries, indexing, aggregation, and full text search. Schema flexibility. Unlike traditional relational databases, Mongo doesn't require a predefined schema. This flexibility allows for easier iteration and adaptation of data models as application requirements evolve. Then comes the aggregation framework. MongoDB provides an aggregation framework for performing complex data processing tasks such as filtering, grouping, and transforming data within the database. It also supports geospatial indexing. For now, we'll keep it aside and learn about geospatial indexing in the future advanced sessions. To begin with MongoDB, there are two ways to work with MongoDB. One is offline mode where you can install the server, which is the MongoDB community server. You can download it and install on your local machine and connect to the DB server. The other way is to use their cloud-based solution, which is free for developers. That's why you have this option to try for free. So the moment you click on this option, it will take you to the MongoDB cluster and ask you to register upon to this cluster. Feel free to add your you know, first name, last name, email and password details to create your Atlas account and proceed with that account. Or you can sign up with Google as well. I have already chosen to sign up with Google, which lands me into this organization page. Let me take a step back. I have a couple of organizations here, but I'm going to create a new organization to proceed with the MongoDB cluster. So that's it. So we need to enter the name of the organization and then we need to choose which MongoDB cluster we want to create, which is the MongoDB Atlas, which gives you wide range of features, which you can read it over here with the snapshots and other stuff. So I'm going ahead and creating this organization called could rank it and I'll proceed with the next step. You can also add members and set permissions for those members while creating your organization. For now, I'll not invite any members, but I'll just create the organization that is as simple as it is. Look at that. We now have the organization as could rank it and we don't have any projects. So I'm going to create a new project and give a project name. I would say MERN and then proceed further. Create the project. I'm going to create a MERN project. Look at that. We have created a MERN project under could rank it and then we are ready to create a deployment. Let me click on create a deployment here and you can choose a cluster which is 0 0.08 dollar per hour serverless or M0 which is a free cluster which should be of 512 MB. I'm going to choose M0 cluster and either you can choose AWS, Google Cloud or Azure and you can choose the region depending on your current location. It could be Mumbai or any other places as well. So let me go ahead and choose Mumbai AP South 1. I'm going to choose the AWS as the backend provider for MongoDB where it will host the solution in AWS. We don't need to bother about the providers right now and then we can go ahead and create the deployment. That's all it is. Once I do the deployment, it will ask you to connect to the cluster. In the next session, 
we will deal with the cluster and other properties of the cluster tables. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.